The Flatsum WordPress theme has a great feature called the banner grid. The problem with the banner grid is that it will auto resize and position the image for us. That's a problem because the resize makes the image is lower quality and it doesn't position it the way we want it to. So in this video, we're going to go over how to resize and crop the images the way we want it to, how to plug it in here, how to use the flat sum grid size calculator tool that I made today in order to know exactly which sizes to use. And if you don't have the tool, how you can find out yourself. And well, my name is Peter Krzyzek and this is Sikalfi Academy. Before we jump into how to resize and what these sizes are, I want to show you what the problem with the sizing and resizing is here. So this is the resized image and the original image I used is not the 1024 by six, whatever that is. So let me show you what the actual image is. So if I click over here, I'm going to click here, click on my media library. And I believe I used this image. So that's the size. It's not the same size. And it even higher quality. See, already looks better than the image. See how blurry this is? I don't know if you can tell from the YouTube video, but there is a quality difference in the automatic resize and the actual image that we have. So what we want to do is crop this image to exactly the size we need, and it won't be blurry anymore. And no, if you're thinking, no, that's not the size, here it is. But you'll already notice something very interesting. Here I'm using Chrome and I have a few extra things enabled, so don't worry about that. But I'm using the Chrome developer tools and all I did was I right clicked and clicked on inspect element. And I went over here and see how it highlights just the banner over here, just the specific one banner. In this case, I'm highlighting this thing div class equals row. Div is a container thing, don't worry about it. But if you see, I can't move my mouse and show you, but right below the banner, you see this yellow text that says div.row 517.5 pixels by 600. That is the size. So if you're not using the calculator tool, this is the banner size you'll want to create. So how do I create an image this size and positioned how I want? Well, simple. We go into Photoshop and we crop it to that size. Here we are in Photoshop and you can use any tool you want. I happen to be just using Photoshop. So we're going to crop this image to the size that it told us to, which happened to be 517.5 by 600. So that's the size that we have and I can proportionally scale it now, whichever way I want. There we go, either wide or tall and I'm gonna have it a little bit tall over here. So how would we want this cropped? Well, in my particular case, I want it cropped more or less centered on the river. So let's get that a little bit more center ish. There we go, center enough. And I'm going to leave it just like this. All that's left is to save it and upload it straight back into the page and the banner. So here's my edit page. I'm just going to go into the banner, select the new image. Oops, I'm going to upload it. It's uploaded and see it's nicely sized ish. Save, update, and let's see how the new page looks like. Wow, see, already so much better. It's cropped exactly how I want it to be, and it is super crystal clear and sharp because now the theme already saw that, hey, this is perfectly sized. Absolutely no need for me to do anything else about this. So, yay. Now, you might have noticed very quickly though, that the particular image, let me just drop into the library just for a second to show you. So here's our image and it's not that size that I just told you, right? The size we're, we were looking for is 517 by 600 and this is bigger, why? Well, it's still crystal clear and sharp because of the ratio of the width to the height. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna get a little bit technical here. Here we're back in Photoshop and you can see that my crop is set exactly to 517 by 600, but the image we saved was not that sized. Why? That's because what we have here is still this same ratio. If you look at the top left, what I the numbers I entered into Photoshop are the ratio. So for every 517.5 pixels, 
there is 600 pixels of height. So that kind of works out and I can proportionately scale this up or down and still have the same ratio, which is what's important when scaling these things here. So as you can see, let's see, 517 is, at least in this particular image, if I don't resize the image first, is more or less this size. If I scale to what I properly cropped it at, it's this size, which was 582 by 674. So let me show you what you can do instead. If you do want it perfectly sized, what you can do is you can, well, resize the image and go from there. So the image size here, we wanted a height of 600 there. And I can use that instead. I can save this image instead and upload that so, there, so it's perfectly optimized. There's no HTML scaling and it'll work just as well. And it'll be a little smaller file size. So actually now that I think about it, let's do that. To add that image back in the corrected one quickly, we're just going to do that right here. And you can see it's the size we were looking for. Save, update, and let's get to the preview page. Let's put it for load. Yay! Still looking great and exactly the size that we wanted everything to be. This is perfect. Now, what do you do for the other images? If you don't have the calculator tool, the same thing for every other banner that you have. You just click on, right click on it, at least in Chrome, right click, go to Ele inspect element and it'll highlight it for you. Then you just mouse over down here, at least if that's how you have it set up. You mouse over down here where the code is and it'll tell you the size. So this middle one is 251.25 by 600. That's the ratio you're going for in Photoshop. Same with this one. The size will be 251.25 by 292.5. And same with this one, that these two are the exact same size and so on and so forth. Whatever banner grid size you use, whether you use full, full width images, full height images, whether it's 300 pixels tall, whatever it is, you can use this method to correctly size and crop your and position, I guess, your images into your banner grid. That's how you do it. It's very simple. Just use whatever editing program you have, whether it's Photoshop, CC like I have here, or Elements or anything else, even GIMP. You can do it in there and just have to scale it and crop it properly. Quick note also, if you don't want to crop before you scale an image, if you want to do that, you can go here and you can scale the image first. So let's say our height was actually 500, not 600 in this case. So then I could scale this first and then I could go and crop to whatever I wanted to and things will be possibly a lot easier that way. It depends whatever order you want to be or what to do this stuff and it doesn't matter. And if you scale the image first, then of course the sizing is going to change. So it's probably going to be smaller. But then at that point, if you, for example, scale the image to 600 pixels tall and there's a whole lot of stuff left and right, then you can simply just crop the left and right stuff to be perfectly fitted in there. So you can do that too. To help you, well, really scale these things much faster and so you don't have to keep going in here all the time, especially when you're using one of the pre-made grid styles, I made a handy dandy calculator grid, size tool thingy, whatever you want to call it. All you have to do is enter the padding that you're using, the height and the width, which generally is your content width. Um, this is probably the default one, so you can probably leave that one. But set the height of your banner grid and the padding that you're using. The defaults are, by the way, 15 and 600. So that's what's here. And if let's say your height is 300, boom, these are the heights you want to use for your images in the various grid sizes. If your height is, let's say, 150, and you're using only five padding, this is how high and wide you need to make your images. If you're a student of the Sakala Fiat Academy as a flat sum student, you already get free access to this calculator tool. If not, well, you can purchase this tool for a very, very low price by clicking the link in the description, or I even have a way for you to get it free. But for that, you'll have to email me or use the contact form also link on the same page to get this stuff. Um, so that's it. That's how you can use this tool and where to get it if you're a student or not and how to resize and scale all these images to make them fit just right. So a quick too long didn't read. Well, here is the image. You have to get the size by using the uh, Chrome developer tools or using my calculator tool. 
and then scale it properly and crop it in Photoshop. That's it. Again, my name is Peter Kruzak and this is Sikalafia Academy. If you found this video useful, please share it because that would really, really help me out in getting all of this going.